Hey everyone, Mitsan here, and today I am happy to bring you the finale of my Undertale Pacifist run. Now, I was reading some of the comments in the last part, and uh, some of you were worried that we weren't actually on the true Pacifist route. I want to reassure you that you have to fight Asgore. There's no other option, you just have to keep fighting him for it to progress. Uh, we're still on the true Pacifist route, so don't worry, and we're actually going to complete the rest of it in this episode. So in the last episode, I asked you guys what your favorite place in Undertale was. And you guys picked some pretty dang good places, and I'm not even gonna lie. Like they had this Temi Village, there was the Hotlands. Every place in Undertale, personally, is my favorite, and it's just... I can't get over how beautiful this game looks. Now, where we left off last, uh, Flowey told us that we should be better friends, become better friends with Alphys. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. So let's continue from where we are, and go go, to go see Alphys. I don't see why not. <laughs> Alright, now we're almost out of the core, so let's keep moving forward. Oh. Hey! Uh, th this is Undyne. Shut up, Papyrus! This was your idea! Human! You have to deliver something for me. Uh, please? Uh, I'm at Snowden, in front of Papyrus's. See ya, punk! Uh, oh, okay. Uh, I, I guess, I guess we're going to Snowden. We're gonna we're gonna go see Alphys first, but uh, let's go see what's up with Undyne. Yeah, let me save real quick. There we go. All right, and in the snap of a finger, we'll be right in Snowden. All right, so now that we're back in Snowden, we uh, definitely have to go see what's up with Undyne because she hasn't really called us before, to my knowledge. It's normally just Papyrus just messing with us. Oh, look, she is actually hanging out with Papyrus. What's up, buddy? It seems Undyne has something for you. She's the person that's not me. Thanks, Papyrus. That, that helps. Um, so, I have a favor to ask you. Uh, I... I need you to deliver this letter. To Dr. Alphys. Huh? Why don't I do it myself? Um, well... It's kind of personal, but we're friends, so... Uh, I'll, I'll tell you. Hotland sucks! I don't want to have to go over there. So here you go. We got... Uh, we got Undyne's letter. Why don't you want to get to Dr. Alphys? Oh, and if you read it, I'll kill you! Thanks so much. You're the best. Uh, I guess that's... Okay. Thank you, Undyne. Alright, so let's go deliver uh, Undyne's letter to Dr. Alphys. Whew, okay. So we're almost at Dr. Alphys' lab. Ah, there it is. Alright. Door has no mail slot. Slide the letter under? Alright, I guess this is great enough. You slide the letter under the door and give it a knock. Oh no! Oh no! It's it's another letter. Uh, I don't want to open it. Can I just slide it back out? Mm. No, I can't keep doing this. I'll read this one. Mm. Um, it it's check kind of strongly, isn't it? W wait a second. What are you doing to that letter, Alphys? Uh, hey, if if this is some kind of joke, it's. My god! Did you write this letter? It wasn't signed, so I had no idea who could have... Oh my god. Oh no. That's adorable. And I had no idea you, um, you wrote that way. It's surprising, too. After all the gross stuff I did, I don't really deserve to be forgiven. Much less, um, this? And so passionately, too. Mm. You, you know what? Okay, I'll do it. It's the least I can do to make it up to you. Y yeah, let's go on a di date. Date? <laughs> Dating start? What? Uh, sorry. I'm still getting dressed. She looks so adorable! <laughs> Uh, how, how do I look? My friend helped me pick out this dress. She's got a great sense of... Um, anyway, let's do this thing. Dating, start. Uh, hey, wait. Uh, actually, we still can't start the date yet. Dating, stop? <laughs> what is she doing? <laughs> um, I've got to give you some items to raise your affection statistic first. That'll increase the chance of a successful outcome on the date. Right? Oh, she's playing it like it's an RPG or a dating sim. That's hilarious. <laughs> uh, anyway, d don't worry. I prepared. I've been stockpiling gifts in anticipation for, for a date like this. F 
first. I've got. Yo, I just realized this is Undyne's letter to Alphys. That's really adorable. Uh, first, I've I've got some metal armor polish. Mm. Um, maybe you can't use that. Oh. But uh, I also brought some waterproof cream for your scales. Your uh, scales. Uh, well, uh, how about this magical spear repair kit? Yeah, that I um. Uh, hey, let's forget about the items. Uh, let's just start the date. No, those are all gifts for a dime. <laughs> Dating finally start. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's, uh, date. Um. Uh, do you like anime? Yeah, who doesn't like anime? <laughs> uh, hey, me too. Uh, hey, let's go somewhere. Uh, wh where's a good place to go on a date? Uh, we got a candle at dinner. We oh, I got it. Well, let's go to the garbage dump. Uh, the garbage dump. Well, I mean that's that's one place to go. Uh, here we are. Th this is where Adina and I come all the time. We we've got all sorts of great stuff here. <laughs> She's really, uh. She really likes Undyne. <laughs> uh, oh no, that's her over there. I c can't let her see me on a date with you. Why? Uh, because, uh, well, uh, oh no, here she comes. Oh, she's. <laughs> hey, well, there you are. I, uh, realized if you deliver that thing, it might be a bad idea. Uh, I'm gonna do it. Give it to me. Uh huh? You don't have it? No! <laughs> Have you at least seen her? Oh, so look how scared she is. I don't want to lie. Yeah, I've seen her. Yes? So she's somewhere around here. Thanks. I'll keep looking. <laughs> oh my god. Well, I guess it's obvious, huh? I, uh, really like her. Aww, so cute! I mean, more than I like other people. I'm sorry. I just, just figured, you know, it'd be more fun to go on a cute kind of pretend date with you to make you feel better. Uh, well, it sounds even worse when I put it like that. I'm sorry. I messed up again. Undyne's the person I, um, really want to go on a date with. But, I mean, she's way out of my league. Not that you aren't, um, cool, B but Undyne... She's so confident, and strong, and funny, and I'm just a nobody, a fraud. I'm the real scientist, but all I've ever done is hurt people. I've told her so many lies, she thinks I'm, she thinks I'm a lot cooler than I actually am. If she gets close to me, she'll, she'll find out the truth about me. Uh, what should I do? Oh, don't keep lying, you gotta tell the truth, come on. The truth? But if I tell her, if I tell her that, then she'll, she'll hate me. Isn't it better this way? To live a lie where both people are happy? Or a truth where neither of us are? They say be yourself, but I don't really like who myself is. I'd rather just be whatever makes people like me. <laughs> oh, don't be like that, Alphys. No, you're right. Every day I'm scared. Scared what will happen if people learn the truth on their own. They'll all get hurt because of me. But how can I tell Undyne the tr truth? I, I don't- I don't have the confidence. I'm going to mess it up. How can I practice? <laughs> well, obviously, let's roleplay it. Screw it. Uh, roleplay? Th that actually sounds kind of fun. Uh, okay. Uh, which one of us should be Undyne? I mean, if we're gonna roleplay it, I'll, I'll be Undyne. <laughs> oh, uh, right, obviously. <laughs> uh, hi, Undyne. Uh, how are you doing today? You're cute! Uh, th thanks. You say that to me a lot, and I never know what to say. But I know you just mean it platonically, because we're just friends. <laughs> uh, so I'd like to, um... Talk to you about something. 
that she kisses you! What? A dive would never. Uh, uh, uh. I kiss her back. Softly. I, I I look gently into her eyes. I start hollering. A dive! I love you! A dive! Kiss me again! A dive! What did you just say? A uh, dive! I, I was just. Hey, whoa. Wait, wait a second. Your outfit's really cute. What's the occasion? Wait a second. Are you two on a date? Uh, yes. I, I mean, uh, no. I mean, we were, but I mean, actually, we were only romantically role playing as you. What? I mean, I, I mean, a dive. I, I've been lying to you. What? About what? Uh, about, well, everything. Alphys, I, I just wanted to impress you. I just wanted you to think I was smart and cool. That I wasn't some nerdy loser. Alphys. Undyne, I, I really think you're neat, okay? Alphys. Shh. Shh. <laughs> Alphys, I, I think you're neat too, I guess. But you've got to realize, most of what you said really doesn't matter to me. I don't care if you're watching kids' cartoons or reading history books. To me, all of that stuff is nerdy crap. What I like about you is that you're passionate, you're analytical. It doesn't matter what it is, you care about it. 100% to a maximum power. So, you don't have to lie to me. I don't want you to have to lie to anyone anymore. Alphys, I want to help you become happy with who you are. And I know just the training you need to do that. Uh, died. you... You're going to trade me? <laughs> what? Me? Nah, I'm gonna get Papyrus to do it. Get those boats shaken! It's time for a jog! 100 laps! Hooting about how great we are! Ready? I'm about to start the timer! Uh, a dime! I'll do my best! Oh my god! She was kidding, right? Those cartoons! Those comics! Those are still real, right? Anime's real, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, anime's real. Totally real. <laughs> I knew it! Gigantic swords, magical princesses, here I come! Uh, uh thanks, thanks for taking care of Alphys. Uh, I didn't get to say what I wanted to, but things seem like they're going to get better for her. Well, uh, I gotta catch up with him. Later. That was really. I feel like we got closer to Alphys. All right. So, well, actually, now that we're closer to Alphys, um, I guess should we head back to King Asgore? Ah, uh, let me say real quick. All right. I guess let's just uh, head back to King Asgore. I mean, that's all we can pretty much do. I'm glad we got to help Undyne and Alphys. That was really cute. <laughs> oh. Uh, howdy. If it isn't my good friend who trusts me, this is Papyrus, your also mutual friend. Alphys and I just finished our training early. Very early. Yeah, that was like literally 30 seconds ago. So I sent her home. Very home. Uh, now, I feel strongly, and for no apparent reason, you should also go there. To her lab house. I have only good feelings about this. Uh, goodbye. Okay, that was really weird. Uh, let's go to Alphys's then. Alright, so we're back at Hotlands. Let's go see what's up at Alphys. No door open this time. Alphys, where you at? You just seem pretty happy with a nine. What? A note? It's a note from Alphys. I guess let's read it. It's hard to read because of the handwriting, but you try your best. Hey. Uh, thanks for your help back there. You guys, your support really means a lot to me. But, as difficult as it is for to say this, you guys alone can't magically make my own problems go away. 
I want to be a better person. I don't want to be afraid anymore. And for that to happen, I have to be able to face my own mistakes. I'm going to start doing that now. I want to be clear. This isn't anyone else's problem but mine. But if you don't ever hear from me again, if you want to know the truth, enter the door north of this note. You all at least deserve to know what I did. That's all she wrote. Okay. Oh, it's an elevator. I thought this was a bathroom. Alright, let's head down. Okay. Yo, this got a lot more spooky. Okay. Entry number one. This is it. Time to do what the king has asked me to do. I will create the power to free us all. I will unleash the power of the soul. Okay. Entry number two. The barrier is locked by the soul power. Unfortunately, this power cannot be recreated artificially. Soul power can only be derived from what was once living. So, to create more, we will have to use what we have now. The souls of monsters. What? Entry number three. But extracting a soul from a living monster would require incredible power. Besides being impractical, doing so would instantly destroy the soul's host. And, unlike the persistent souls of humans, the souls of monsters disappear immediately upon death. If only I can make a monster's soul last. What? Entry number five. I've done it. Using the blueprints, I've extracted it from the human souls. I believe this is what gives their souls the strength to persist after death. The will to keep living. The resolve to change fate. Let's call this power... Determination. Yo, what? Ooh, this song gives me goosebumps. Okay. True Laboratory. Okay, what is this? There's a note on the ground. You can't make it all out. Elevator, lost power. Enter the center door. That's all you could read. Okay, what's this entry? Power room. All right, well, let's explore the True Laboratory then. Office wanted us to see something. This must be it. Entry number six. Asgore asked everyone outside the city for monsters that have fallen down. Their bodies came in today. They're still comatose, and soon they'll all turn into dust. But what happens if I inject determination into them? If their soul persists after they perish, then freedom might be closer than what we all thought. Yo, this is like messed up, man. Entry number nine. Things aren't going well. None of the bodies have turned into dust, so I can't get the souls. I told the families that I would give them the dust back for their funerals. People are starting to ask me what's happening. What do I do? Yo, she's being put in a position she doesn't even want to be in. What's this? There's a note on the ground. You can't make it all out. Drain. Dropped it. Okay. There's a sink. Turn on the sink. Nope. Turn on the sink. Turn on the sink. What the hell? Oh, it's adorable. Never mind. What drew near? Nothing? Okay. Uh, it's act. It's a uh, stat. Sounds like a phone. Why does it sound like a phone? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Okay, let's keep dodging. It's not. Ow! I don't really want to die, so let's not do that. But nobody came. Remember to remember that line. Remember to remember that line. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, cell. You take out your cell phone. You can hear voices through the receiver. Come join the fun. I don't want to join any fun you're having. Thank you very much. This is beyond creepy. Ugh. He's giving me goosebumps. But nobody came. I spare. I still can't spare. Okay. I guess let's join the. Let's refuse. I don't want to join that fun. It's a real get- to oh. Okay, well, we're not joining the fun. But they're still doing that cre- Oh, that creepy face, man. Jeez. 
Seems like it doesn't care any anymore. Uh, okay, cool. We can spare. And there's a red key. Cool. So we can put it on the keychain. All right, cool. We got the first key. Wait, I think there was a lock in here. Ah, there was a lock. Awesome. Whew. Such a creepy place. The atmosphere is like... Whew. Just get your, get your spine jiggly. All right. Let's see. All right, we got one. So the technical... Okay. So there are three more keys we have to get. Green, blue, and yellow. Let's save real quick. What's this? Buy some... Yeah, I'll buy some chips. Can I... How much can I have? I'll get some more stuff. I'll buy more chips. There we go. Okay. Oh. More to the lore. Entry number 12. Nothing is happening. I don't know what to do. I'll just keep injecting everything with determination. I want this to work. Oh, she, well, I mean, she's determined to get determination to work. We'll give her that. Entry number 13. One of the bodies opened its eyes. Oh, crap. It's an empty dog food bowl. Dog? Look at all these beds. Is this? this is so creepy. Alright, these comforters are messed up. Something under the sheets. Uh, yeah. Hey, got another key. It's a yellow key. Put it on your keychain. Cool. Okay. Uh, let's see what this says. Wait, is this a clock? Yeah, is it? The clock is broken. Okay. Entry number 14. Everyone that had fallen down has woken up. They're all walking around and talking like nothing is wrong. I thought they were goners. Okay, so the injections of determination worked. I mean, what's going on? Like, why is she, like, so freaked out? Entry number seven. We'll need a vessel to wield the monster's souls when a time comes. After all, a monster cannot absorb the souls from of other monsters. Just as a human cannot absorb a human soul. So then, what about something that's neither human nor monster? Human or monster? Golden flowers. Entry number 10. Experiments on the vessel are a failure. It doesn't seem to be any different from the control cases. Whatever. They're a hassle to work with anyway. The seeds just stick to you and won't let go. See, she tried on a flower? Yo, if it's what I'm thinking, then that's. Get it. Yo! Okay, what is with these creepy things? Oh, you are so creepy. Oh, there's so many options! Uh, let's go down the list. Screw it. Okay, pick on. You pick on, period. It seems effective. What? I don't even know what that's... Okay, so I read somewhere that that guy's... I, I've seen that guy before. Apparently his name is Everyman. Uh, Toby gave him that name, I think. And it's incredibly creepy. Alright, you wash your hands. Nothing happened. We're just gonna keep going. Oh, okay, just keep going down the list. Let's not get hit by these butterflies. Not really sure what the point of this is. If you actually guys know what the point of every man is, or if this symbolizes anything, definitely leave a comment down below. Because I'm actually curious. I actually don't know. Uh, mystify? You did something mysterious. Something recognizes it has more to learn from this world. Okay, so it seems like it's working. And now every man is shooting his face at me. That's that's exactly what I wanted out of this. Just to shoot your face. Okay, I hit it, but it didn't hurt me. That's weird. Um, hum? You hum a familiar tune, but no one heard you. Okay, lovely. Oh, God. Every man is so creepy. <laughs> so I don't get the butterflies, too. This is the soundtrack. Ooh, it keeps giving me goosebumps. All right, um, pray. You kneel and pray for safety. Reaper bird seems to remember something. Somebody finally gets it. River Ribbit Courage. Wait, are these multiple things? Ooh, you can't hurt me, every man. What's up? And spare. Yeah, we actually did pretty good that one. Didn't get hit at all. There's a note on the ground. Can't make it all out. Cold. Okay, let's keep that in mind. Cold, cold. Alright, so there's nothing over here. So let's make our way back to the main room. And I think there was another entrance as well. So we're going to try out that entrance. See what comes up. And those sheets just pulled down. That was weird and creepy. Okay, let's go over here. It's a bed. Is there anything else in here? Actually, no, these comforters are down. 
Seems like a comfortable bed. Yeah, let's lie on it. Okay, that was both creepy and friendly. Okay, let's um, let's check out the other corridor instead. That was a little weird. <laughs> uh, entry number 15. Seems like this research was a dead end, but at least we got a happy ending out of it. I sent the souls back to Asgore, returned the vessel to his garden, and I called all the families and told them that everyone's alive. I'll send everyone back tomorrow. Happy face. Okay, that seems pretty good. Um, okay. Ooh, got really quiet. Entry number 11. Now that Metaton's made it big, he never talks to me anymore. Except to ask when I'm going to finish his body. But I'm afraid if I finish his body, he won't need me anymore. Then we'll never be friends ever again. Not to mention, every time I try to work on it, I just get really sweaty. Oh, she doesn't want to lose a friend, and Metaton's way too popular. There's a switch on the wall. Press it? Yeah, I'll press it. Yo, I should just be expecting this by now. It's kind of cute. It's just a... Is that a dog? Oh, I can move! Oh, that is so creepy! Ah, screw it. Let's just get it over with. It's an Alma... I don't... I don't even know how to say that. Alma... Maggetti? I don't, I don't know. Ugh. Um... Oh, it's a dog-ish. It looks like cats, though. It's, uh... Beckon? You call the Almagate, it bounds towards you. Flecking a strange liquid from its orifice. Oh, God. That was more descriptive. Is that dog shooting arrows at its... What? It's more humorous than it is creepy, but it's still kind of creepy. It's looking for affection. Okay. Pet? You pet the Almagate, it convulses rapidly, then calms down. It rests quietly on your lap for a moment. Oh, it's actually kind of cute. Suddenly, it shoots away and crawls wildly on the walls. It's creepy and cute. Nice. And now, now it's a rocket. Now, now the dog is a rocket. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna striking the wall with its claws. It's a creepy, horrible dog. Let's play. I guess. Let's try playing. You throw your weapon into the corner of the room. The Almagate brings it back to you proudly. You repeat this process for a few times. Now Almagate is very tired. It leans its dripping orifice. A body on you. Ew. Okay. Uh. <laughs> seriously, that's very comedic. <laughs> Let me shoot arrows at you out of my face. He's twitching affectionately. Let's try petting it again. You pet the on the gate. It starts to generate a stage. I happiness froth. What? Yo, it's like about to explode. It looks like. <laughs> Ow! Dang it! Don't hurt me, please. I don't want to die. I'm gonna get its convulsions intensify. Uh, let's pet it again. <laughs> it's like the annoying dog song. <laughs> you pet decisively. The Alma Algamate seems to be satisfied by all this. Hey! Cool. You won and earned nothing. I was kind of cute and gross at the same time. If that's a thing. Uh, yeah, let's definitely heal up. Okay, and let's keep on heading over to the next location. I know I, know I read the first one, I don't think I read this one. Entry number 16. No, 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 no. Uh oh. Okay, okay, um. Why am I walking really slowly towards it? Oh, the it's giving me goosebumps. This is so weird. Oh. It looks like the same thing that tucked me in the bed. There's a green toad lying in the key. Alright, we got the green one, at least. So I think that leaves one more, actually. Uh oh, yellow. Yes, we have yellow. Okay. The yellow key fits perfectly into the slide. There's a note on the ground. You can't make it all out. Under sheets. Oh, that was the bad one! Okay, so we already have that one. That's cool. 
Uh, what's over here? Entry number four. I've been researching humans to see if I can find any info about their souls. I ended up snooping around the castle and found these weird tapes. I don't feel like Asgore's watched them. I don't think he should. Tapes. There's a bunch of VHSs. It seems like it's mostly cartoons of some kind. They seem to be alphabetized. Save a few stray sticky notes. There's a VHS player with a few tapes picked out beside it. They seem to be labeled in specific order. Will you watch one? Oh, there's five tapes. All right, let's let's watch the first one. Okay, so that was Toriel talking to Asgore. That was kind of like a personal tape. Let's uh, check out the second one. Okay, for some reason my name was in that tape. Don't really know why, but I definitely want to keep watching these tapes, so we're gonna play number three now. Okay, so someone's talking to apparently me. I, I don't, I don't get it. Let's let's keep just keep watching. Let's go to tape four. we're diving deeper into this because <sighs> all right fifth and final tape Okay, so from what I gathered from that, Max, or me, was talking to this guy, and the plan was they have to get six. I'm assuming they're talking about souls. So, let's let's just keep, let's just keep moving forward. Alright, I'm gonna say that's a odd place for a save point. That's not a save point. And that's creepy! 
What the hell is that? Smells like sweet lemons, apparently. Okay. I doubt it. Um, hum, flex, cry, unhug, or scream. Oh, it's a mix of all the, like, the other one. Okay. Let's hum. You hum a familiar tune. Lemon bread's body shakes. Welcome to my special hell. Okay. Oh, let's just not get hit. Please and thank you. Ow. Dang it. Oh, jeez, that hurt a lot. Uh, okay, I can, I can definitely act again. Scream. You screamed out, but nobody came. That's what they all say, apparently. Nice. Alright. Ooh, ooh, we're dodging, we're dodging. We're doing pretty good. Okay, uh, smells like sweet lemons. Let's flex, let's flex! You flexed your arm. Lemon's bre lemon bread's muscles shakes. That's what they say. Okay, ooh. Not get hit by that. Not get hit by that, please. Eh, not gonna make it. Oh, holy crap! That was close. Okay. Um. Uh, unhug. You let lemon bread be. Lemon bread seems to remember something. I felt this before. Okay. Well, I think we're getting somewhere then. Dodge. Oh. Cool. Could this be goodbye? <gasps> we can spare. Whew. Okay. Got nothing from that again, but. At least we're progressing. DT extraction machine. Status inactive. So, I th they use this to extract the determination, it looks like. It looks familiar. Oh. Alright, what's this? Entry number 19. The families keep calling me to ask when everyone is coming home. What am I supposed to say? I don't even answer the phone anymore. Wait, are they not all alive? Entry number 20. Asgore left me five messages today. Four about... That fridge just shook. Four about everyone being angry. One about this cute teacup he found that looks like me. Thanks, Asgore. <laughs> Yo, Asgore's just like big doofus. Entry number 21. I spend all my time at the garbage dump now. It's my element. Oh. Wait, we should probably check on that fridge. It's a refrigerator. It's empty. It's a refrigerator. It's empty. Some kind of samples of some kind. It's a refrigerator. It's empty. Well, that explains the cold. No, oh, my God, you are so creepy. It's so cold. Yo, this music is just giving me goosebumps, but it's kind of, it's good at the same time. Um, it's a joke. You told a bad pun about snow. Her expression starts to shift. Haha, ha, I remember. Yo, it like can't even fight me. It's so cold. Um. Laugh? You laugh and keep laughing. It's so funny, you can't stop. Tears run down your face. What? You didn't do that? Snowy. Yo, it's like. It's so creepy, but it's not doing anything. Let's try joking again. Told bad pun about snow. Her expression changes more. Haha. <laughs> Thank you. So, joking seems to be doing progress, but... Let's joke again? Told bad pun about snow again. She's completely calmed down. Okay, I have major goosebumps right now, but... Let's pop this key into here. We now have the blue key. Let's go pop the blue key into that thing, and then we can finally enter the door. And that refrigerator keeps shaking. I don't know why it is, but I have so much goosebumps right now. This place gives me the creeps. <laughs> okay. Uh, did I already put that one in there? I did. It was the yellow one. Where did I put the... Where's the green one at again? Forgot where the, uh, the blue one is. Ah. Okay, I found it. It was in the uh, flower room. All right, so that's all four keys. Now we can access the elevator and see what is actually hiding in the true lab and finally get some answers. Once again, yo, the sheets keep moving. <laughs> this place, something happened to, some, something happened to the doctor office. And something happened with everybody here, the determination extraction. I'm gonna figure out what's going on with Asgore and uh, Toriel. Uh, why my name was in the VHSs. A lot of this isn't adding up, so let's save real quick. And get some answers. Seems like another elevator has lost its power. 
seems to be turned off. Okay, they're turned off. This must be the power generator. Seems like this controls the elevator's power. There we go. Yeah, let's turn them on. Great, this is exactly what I wanted to deal with right now. Jeez. Oh, it's so creepy. So creepy! Hey, stop! I got you guys some food, okay? Alphys? Uh, sorry about that. They kind of get sassy when they don't get fed on time. I think they smelled the potato chips you had, and... Uh, anyway, the power went out, and I've been trying to turn it back on. But it seems like you were one step ahead of me. This was probably just some big inconvenience for you. But, but I appreciate that you came here to back me up. As I said, I was afraid I might not come back. But that's not because of these guys or anything. Uh, I was just worried that I would be too afraid to tell the truth. That I might run away or do something cowardly. Oh, Alphys. Uh, uh, I, I suppose I owe you an explanation. As you probably know, Asgore asked me to study the nature of souls. During my research, I isolated a power I called Determination. I injected it into the dying monsters so their souls would last after death. But the experiment failed. You see, unlike humans, monsters' bodies don't have enough physical matter to take these concentrations of Determination. Their bodies started to melt and lost what physicality they had. Pretty soon, all the test subjects had melted together into those. Seeing them like this, I knew I couldn't tell their families about it. I couldn't tell anyone about it, no matter how much everyone was asking me. And I was too afraid to do any more work, knowing everything I've done so far has been such a horrific failure. But now, now I've changed my mind about all of this. I'm going to tell everyone what I've done. Uh, it's going to be hard, being honest, believing in myself. I'm sure there will be times where I'll struggle. I'm sure there will be times where I screw up again. But knowing, deep down, that I have friends to fall back on, I know it'll be a lot easier to stand on my own. Thank you. Aww. Come on, guys. It's time for everyone to go home. Alright, so we did exactly what Flowey asked us to. We became better friends with Alphys. This makes me so happy. I mean, we should learn we learned about her dark past, but I mean she's willing to Entry number eight. I've chosen a candidate. I haven't told Asgore yet, because I want to surprise him with it. In the center of his garden, there's something special. The first golden flower that grew before all the others. The flower from the outside world. It appeared just before the queen left. I wonder, what happens when something without a soul gains the will to live? Flowey. Entry number 18. The flower's gone. So that explains Flowey. Okay. Whoa, okay. Um, Alphys made Flowey. It's a voice you have never heard before. Max, are you there? It's been a long time, hasn't it? But you've done well. Thanks to you, everything has fallen into place. Max, see you soon. Okay, we're back at Asgore's castle. And, uh... The door is jammed shut with vines. And we... Okay, there's no turning back. <sighs> Let's get the elevator for faster travel. Yo. Okay. So we did what Flowey told us to, so... I... Yeah, we have to go back to Asgore now. That, that's the only other option we have. We can't, we can't go back. We, f we learned about the true laboratory, we learned about Alphys' past, we learned where Flowey came from. So now what? How do, how do we get out of the underground? Without killing Asgore, because 
I'm still not gonna kill that lovable oaf. Well, no matter what happens, we're in this together. <sighs> the end. Let's confront Asgore. This is the barrier. This is what keeps us all trapped underground. If, if by chance you have any unfinished business, please do what you must. No, we can't go back. We can only go forward. I see. This is it then. Ready? A strange light fills the room. Twilight is shining through the barrier. It seems your journey is finally over. You're filled with determination! Human. It was nice to meet you. Goodbye. What the? <laughs> Is it Toriel? Hey! Go, Mom! What a miserable creature, torturing such a poor, innocent youth. Do not be afraid, my child. It is I, Toriel, your friend and guardian. At first, I thought it would let you make your journey alone, but I could not stop worrying about you. Your adventure must have been so treacherous. And ultimately, it would burden you with a horrible choice. To leave this place, you'd have to take the life of another person. You'd have to defeat Asgore. However, I realized I cannot allow that. It is not right to sacrifice someone simply to let someone leave here. Is that not what I've been trying to prevent this whole time? So, for now, let us suspend this battle. As terrible as Asgore is, he deserves mercy too. Oh, Tori. You came back. Do not Tory me, Jermur. You pathetic whelp. If you really wanted to free our kind, you could have gone through the barrier after you've gotten one soul, take, taken six souls from the humans, then come back and freed everyone peacefully. But instead, you've made everyone live in despair because you would rather wait here, meekly hoping another human never comes. Oh, because he doesn't want to do it. Tory, you're right. I am a miserable creature. But, do you think we can at least be friends again? <laughs> He's tried so hard. <sighs> no, Asgore. Oh, look at his face! He's crying! <laughs> Asgore, human! Nobody fight each other! Everyone's gonna make friends! Or, or else I'll... I'll... Uh... Hello, I am Toriel. Are you the human's friend? It's nice to meet you. Uh, yeah. Nice to meet you. Uh, hey, Asgore. Is that your ex? Jeez, that's rough, buddy. Uh, uh, hey, hey. Nobody hurt each other. Uh, uh. Oh, are you another friend? I am Toriel. Hello. Uh, uh, hi. Uh, there's two of them. <laughs> hey, nobody fight anyone. If anyone fights anyone, then I'll be, be forced to ask Undyne for help. Hello. Oh, uh, hello, your majesty. Psst, hey, a uh, human. Did Asgore shave and clone himself? <laughs> uh, hey, guys, what's up? That voice. Hello, I think we may know each other. Oh, hey, I recognize your voice, too. I am Toriel. So nice to meet you. The name's Sans. And, uh, same. Oh, wait, then... This must be your brother, Papyrus. Greetings, Papyrus. It is so nice to finally meet you. Your brother has told me so much about you. Wowie! I can't believe Asgore's clone knows who I am! This is the best day of my life! Hey, Papyrus. What does a skeleton tile his roof with? Hmm snowproof roof tiles no silly 
a skeleton tiles his roof with shingles. I changed my mind. This is the worst day of my life. <laughs> uh, come on, Asgore. It's gonna be okay. There's plenty of fish in the sea. Uh, yeah, Asgore. Uh, Adine's totally right about that fish thing. Uh, sometimes you just got to, uh, stop going after furry boss monsters and, uh, j just get to know a really cute fish. <laughs> it's a metaphor. Well, I think it's a good analogy. Oh my god! Will you two just smooch already? The audience is dying for some romantic action. Hey, shut up! Man, the nerve of that guy. Right, Alphys? Uh, Al Alphys? Uh, no. He's right. Let's do it! Uh, well, uh, I guess if you want to, then. Don't hold anything back! <laughs> That's about time, man. They were, like, all over each other. Well, wait! Not in front of the human! <laughs> uh, oh, right. Uh, sorry. I got a little carried away there. <laughs> My child, it seems as you must stay here for a while. But looking at all the great friends you have made, I think... I think you will be happy here. Yeah. Uh, uh hey, that reminds me. Papyrus! You, you called everyone here, right? Well, besides, uh, her. Um, anyway, I've got to hear before you. Uh, how did you know to call everybody? Let's just say, a tiny flower helped me. A tiny flower? Flowey. Are you kidding me? You jerk! You idiots! While you guys were having your little powwow, I took the human souls. And now, not only are those souls under my power, but all of your friend's souls are going to be mine too. <laughs> and you know what the best part is? It's all your fault. It's all because you made them love you. All the time you spent listening to them, encouraging them, Caring about them. Without that, they wouldn't have come here. And now, with their souls and the humans together, I will achieve my real form. <laughs> huh? Why am I still doing this? Don't you get it? This is all just a game. If you leave the underground satisfied, you'll win the game. If you win, you won't want to play anymore. And what would I do then? But this game between us will never end! I'll hold victory in front of you, just within your reach. And then tear it away just before you grasp it. Over, and over, and over! <laughs> Listen, if you do defeat me, I'll give you your happy ending. I'll bring your friends back. I'll destroy the barrier. Everyone will finally be satisfied. But that won't happen. You! I'll keep you here no matter what. Jesus. Again? Even if that means killing you a million times! Are you... Why? What are you getting out of this? What? Do not be afraid, my child. No matter what happens, we will always be there to protect you. Hey. That's right, human! You can win! Just do what I would do! Believe in you! Hey, human! If you got past me, then you can do anything! So don't worry, we're with you all the way! Huh? You still haven't beaten this guy yet? Come on! This weirdo's got nothing on you. Yo, the friend, all my friends are helping me. Uh, technically, it's impossible for you to beat him. B but somehow, I, I know you can do it. Human. For the future of humans and monsters. You have to stay determined. 
Yay, everybody's with me. We're gonna be flowing together. Woohoo! You ain't got nothing, man. Ugh. No. Unbelievable. This. This can't be happening. You. You. I can't believe you're all so stupid. All of your souls are mine. Okay, so, uh, turns out Flowey was Asriel Dremur the whole time. Toriel and, uh, Asgore's son. It's the end. Let's put an end to this. Uh, hope, dream, let's hope. You held up your hopes. You, you reduced how much damage you'll take this turn. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh, okay, let's keep dodge all the attacks. Ooh, final battle. Ooh, love this song! Great song! Woo! Ow. Ah, dang, I got hit. Okay, as your charges, Shocker Breaker. Okay, let's dream. You think about why you're here now. You can feel the empty space in your inventory getting smaller and smaller. Okay, that'll give us inventory stuff. You know, I don't care about destroying this world anymore. Okay, he doesn't care. Woo! 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 Okay. Uh, we need to hope so we don't die. You keep holding on. Damage reduced. After I defeat you and gain control over the timeline, I just want to reset everything. What do you want to? What is your beef, man? Ooh, ooh, ooh! Dodge, dodge, dodge! Oh, dang it! Damn, I got hit again. Okay, um, let's uh, let's heal up. Drink the star frit. Your HP was maxed out. Okay. All your progress, everyone's memories. I'll bring them all back to zero. Okay. What is your beef, Azrael? Ooh, dodge, dodge. Woo, we got all of that! There we go. Okay. Let's, uh, hope again. We keep ho you kept holding on. Damage reduced. Then, we can do everything all over again. So, so you just want to keep, you want to keep everything in a loop. Okay, that's what you want to do. Ah, dang it. Okay. Just keep dodging, just keep dodging. Keep, stay determined, stay determined. Um, Chaos Buster. Let's hope again. Okay. We kept holding on. Damage still reduced. And you know what the best part of all this is? You'll do it. I'll do it? I'll reset everything? What do you put the blame on me for? Dang it. Ah. Ugh. Ooh, he is not giving up. Okay, we are. He's very persistent. Last dream. Through determination, the dream became true. Your HP was maxed out. And then, you'll lose to me again. Okay, so... It's such a good song. I freaking love this soundtrack. I, I know I've said it like a hundred times, but I still can't get over it. Um, stream. Your items fill up with dreams. And, and again. Okay, so he wants to just keep everything here and keep everything the same. He pretty much just wants me to suffer. Ah, no, 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 Ah, that was a direct hit. Ah, that was really bad. Okay. Uh, we gotta heal up again. Uh, last stream. Okay. And again! Yo, he really hates me. Woo! 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 Dang it! Ah, oh, keep getting hit! Stop hitting me! Uh, dream. And because you want a happy ending. Because I want a happy ending. Yo, Azrael, make sense, please! Oh, dang it, I still- <laughs> Okay. 
Uh, I think we have enough. Let's hope that that, that helps us with the defense. Because you love your friends. Okay, okay. Dodge. 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 Okay. There we go. Now we're getting better. Let's hope. Kept holding on. Because you never give up. Dodge. 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 Ow. Dodge. Dodge. Ooh, bad place. Ugh. Whoa, why did you start adding stars? Ah, oh, you jerk. Okay, um, last drink. Isn't that delicious? Your determination. The power that let you get this far. It's gonna be your own downfall. My determination is gonna be my downfall? Ah, oh, dang it. Oh, this is so hard to dodge. Okay, uh, I think we have enough food, so let's keep hoping. Now, enough messing around. It's time to purge this timeline once and for all! Okay, oh, oh, that is creepy. Okay, ah, no, no, don't hurt me. No, woo, 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 yeah, oh, I got hit, dang it. Oh, one HP, are you kidding me? Even after that attack, you're still standing in my way? Wow, you really are something special. But don't get cocky. Up until now, I've only been using a fraction of my real power. Let's see what good your determination is against this! Azrael blocks the way. I, I can't do anything. All I can do is act. Uh, struggle? Can't move your body. <laughs> Behold my true power! What? I... I don't want to- I only have one hit. Okay, I came back alive and I have full health. What just happened? Okay, let's just keep struggling, I guess. I can feel it. Every time you die, your grip on this world slips away. Every time you die, your friends forget you a little more. Your life will end here. In a world where no one remembers you! Jeez! Okay, dodge. Ah! Dang it! God, this is really hard to dodge. The whole world is ending. All I can do is struggle! I can't do anything else! Can't move your body. Still, you're hanging on. That's fine. In a few moments, you'll forget everything too. That attitude will serve you well in your next life! Jeez, buddy, calm yourself. Please stop it. Okay, I was able to dodge those. The whole world's still ending. <laughs> still? Come on. Show me what good your determination is now. Ah, oh, jeez. Dang it. I just, there's nothing I can do. You can't move your body. Nothing happened. You struggle. Nothing happened. You tried to reach your save file. Nothing happened. You tried again to reach your save file. Nothing happened. Seems saving the game really is impossible. But, maybe with that little power you have, you can save something else. I can do stuff now. Okay, let's save. We can save everybody! Okay, um, save Undyne. You reach out to Azrael's soul and call out for your friends. They're in there somewhere, aren't they? Within the depths of Azrael's soul, something's, something's resonating. I'm dying. The lost soul appeared. Okay, um... <laughs> fake hitter. You tap the lost souls lightly. Something about the way you fight is familiar to her. All humans will die! Oh. Oh, we're back to the Undyne fight. Okay. Come on, Undyne. Just hang in there with me. Let's smile. You gave the lost soul a big smile. Like you remember she likes to do. For some reason, she sort of wants to smile back. You're the real enemy! Okay, come on. Come on, Undyne. Come on. We got this. We're not letting you behind. Okay. Let's uh, do a recipe. You ask the lost soul to teach you how to cook. Suddenly, the memories are flooding back. <laughs> well, some humans are okay, I guess. Alright, we got Undyne. Okay. Uh, let's take it out this now. Within the depths of Azrael's soul, something's resonating. 
The lost soul appeared. Oh, she's in a little dress. Uh, let's encourage. You tell the lost soul that you'll continue to support her. Something about the way you said that is familiar to her. You you hate me, don't you? I don't hate you, Alphys. Come on. Hang in there. Why are you shooting Metaton at me? <laughs> okay. No dodging that. Uh, let's nerd out. You ask the lost soul what her favorite cartoon is. She can barely hold back from giving you an enormous answer. I've got to keep lying. No, you don't, Alphys. Be yourself! That's who we want you to be! Okay. Uh, let's do a quiz. You asked the lost soul for help on a quiz question. <laughs> Suddenly, memories are flooding back. No, that's not true. My friends like me, and I like you too. All right. We got Undyne and Alphys. Let's save Papyrus. Come on, come on, come on. The lost souls are standing there. Oh, it's Papyrus and Sans. Okay, uh, act. Let's do, uh, joke. You told the lost soul a bad pun about skeletons. He seems to hate it, but the other lost soul seems to like it. Then everyone will! Why even try? Okay, dodging, dodging. Woo! Okay, doing good. Uh, let's do the second lost soul. Uh, judgment. You told the lost soul that you think about what you've done. It seems like it's trying to remember. Hmm. You'll never see them again. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, we're jumping. Man, I haven't done this since we fought Papyrus. Let's go back to Papyrus. Uh, do you recipe? You ask the lost soul to cook something for you. The lost soul is trying to hide its joy. <laughs> Everyone will! Why even try? Okay. Seems to be working. Dodge, dodge. There we go. Ooh. Cool. Alright, one more. Uh, let's do a puzzle. You ask the lost soul for help with the puzzle. <clears throat> Suddenly, the memories are flooding back. No, no, wait! You're my friend! I could never capture you! <laughs> I'm rooting for you, kid. Alright. We got Papyrus, Sands, Undyne, and Alphys. That means just leaves uh, Toriel and Asgore. Alright. Let's do this, let's do this. Alright, um... Oh, let's hug. Let's hug Toriel. You hug the lost soul. Tell her that you're going to see her again. Something about this is so familiar to her. This is for your own good. Forgive me for this. Oh, oh, Asgore's attack. Let's dodge that. It's pretty easy to dodge. Doing good. We are doing good. Let's go to Asgore. Let's hug Asgore. You hug the lost soul. It seems like his aggression is slowly melting away. No one will ever leave again. This is my duty. Oh, uh, there's Toriel and Asgore's attack. Oh, crap. Ah, dang it. Oh, it hurt me one, really? That was going to be a lot harder. Okay, um, that's Mercy. You refuse to fight the lost soul. Something about this is so familiar to her. They're both silent. Okay, dodging, dodging. Okay. Alright, let's, um, talk. You tell the lost soul that you're going to save everyone. Something stirs within him. It's all flooding back. Your fate is up to you now. You are our future. We saved everybody! Okay, you feel your souls resonating with that, Azriel? Uh, someone else. Strangely, as your friends remembered you, something else began resonating within the soul, stronger and stronger. It seems that there's still one last person that needs to be saved. But who? Suddenly, you realize. You reach out and call their name. Huh? What are you doing?! What did you do? What's this feeling? What's happening to me? No! No! I don't need anyone! Nope. Nope. Come on, Azriel. Come on. Stop it! Get away from me! Do you hear me? I'll tear you apart! He's not, he's not fighting us as strong as before. Max, do you know why I'm doing this? Why I keep fighting to keep you around? 
It's just like Toriel. I'm doing this because you're special, Max. You're the only one that understands me. You're the only one who's, who's any fun to play with anymore. No, that's not just it. I, I'm doing this because I care about you, Max. I care about you more than anybody else. I'm not ready for this to end. I'm not ready for you to leave. I'm not ready to say goodbye to someone like you again. So please stop doing this and just let me win. Stop it. Stop it now! We're not giving up. We're not giving up, Azrael. Max. I'm so alone, Max. I'm so afraid, Max. Max, I... I... I'm so sorry. I was always a crybaby, wasn't I, Max? I know. You're not actually Max, are you? Max has been gone for a long time. Um, what? What is your name? Frisk? That's, that's a nice name. Frisk. I haven't felt like this for a long time. As a flower, I was soulless. I lacked the power to love other people. However, with everyone's souls inside me, I, I not only have my own compassion back, but I can feel other monsters as well. They all care about each other so much. And they care about you too, Frisk. I wish I could tell you how everyone feels about you. Papyrus, Sans, Undyne, Alphys, Toriel. Monsters are weird. Even though they barely know you, it feels like they all really love you. <laughs> Frisk, I, I understand if you can't forgive me. I understand if you hate me. I acted so strange and horrible. I hurt you. I hurt so many people. Friends, family, bystanders. There's no excuse for what I've done. Of course we're gonna forgive Azrael, come on. What? Frisk, come on. You're, you're gonna make me cry again. Besides, even if you do forgive me, I can't keep these souls inside me forever. The least I can do is return them. But first, there's something I have to do. Right now, I can feel everyone's heart beating as one. They're all burning with the same desire. With everyone's power. With everyone's determination. It's time for monsters to finally go free.
Frisk. I have to go now. Without the power of everyone's souls. I, I can't keep maintaining this form. In a little while, I'll turn back into a flower. I'll stop being myself. I'll stop being able to feel love again. So, Frisk, it's best if you just forget about me, okay? Just go be with the people who love you. Of course we're gonna comfort him. I don't want to let go. Frisk. You're... You're going to do a great job, okay? No matter what you do, everyone will be there for you, okay? Well... My time's running out. Goodbye. By the way, Frisk, take care of mom and dad for me, okay? Oh, you are awake, thank goodness. Uh, we were so worried. It felt like you were out forever. Yeah, any longer and I would have freaked out. Tell us next time you decide to nap, okay? Yeah, you made Papyrus cry like a baby. What? I didn't cry. I don't cry. I just caught something in my eye. What did you catch? Tears! <laughs> Now, now. The important part is that Frisk is all right. It's funny, we were never Max to begin with. We were just, we were just Frisk. Here, Frisk. Why not drink some tea? It'll make you feel better. Uh, how about we give them some space first? They must be very exhausted. Though, from what, I am not certain. Frisk, we do not remember exactly what happened. There was a flower, and then everything went white. But now the barrier is gone. When you are ready, we will all return to the surface. It seems the door to the east will lead us there now. But before then, perhaps you might want to take a walk. You can say goodbye to all your wonderful friends. Do as you wish. We will all wait for you here. So, once you actually complete the True Passers route, you can go through the entire game and talk to every single character. Now, if you guys want to go through the entire Pathless route yourself and talk to all everybody, that's I would definitely recommend it because there's some really cool dialogue. I don't really have time to go through everybody because this would make the, the video way too long. So I'm going to talk to everybody here and a certain person, and then we're going to end it off. So let's, let's start chat with Toriel first. Hello, Frisk. Alphys upgraded my phone. I am having a lot of fun with the texting feature. Sans, check out this one. Oh, man, Tori. That's brutal. I can't believe the queen has returned! And also, that she's a huge dork! You two are two feet away from each other! Why are you texting? <laughs> Worry not, Papyrus. We are texting for a good reason. Why is that? Well, because we're huge dorks. Sans, please do not say that. You are not a dork. You are more of a bonehead. <laughs> Wow! Those puns are even less funny coming from her! Then why are you smiling? It's a pity smile! <laughs> Frisk, Tori was telling me how she made a butterscotch pie for you. Oh, I should bake it for everyone sometime. Oh. Uh. Uh oh, that sounds really good! Cooking? Can I help? Wait a second! Can I help too? 
Certainly! It would be more fun to cook together. Uh, on second thought, maybe I'll uh, order a pizza. <laughs> so, Asgore, how about making me a member of the Royal Guard? Uh, well, Papyrus, now that the war is over, we might not need the Royal Guard anymore. What? Then what was the point of this human's quest? They journeyed all that way, and I'm still not a member of the Royal Guard! Truly, this is the worst possible ending! <laughs> Classic Papyrus, man. So, Alphys, uh, what do you want to do now that we're all free? We have the whole world to explore now. Well, of course, I'm going to go out and... Uh, um, uh, no, I should be honest. I'm gonna stay inside and watch anime <laughs> like a total loser. <laughs> That's the spirit! <laughs> Everyone, a celebration to big losers! <laughs> Papyrus has the right idea. Losing the Frisk is the best thing that ever happened to me. So I'm glad that we... Huh? Wh huh? What is it, Asgore? Um, what's an... Anime? Oh my god! Frisk, please! Help me explain what anime is to Asgore. Y you see, it's like a cartoon, but... Uh, with swords? Oh, well, I mean, animes have swords and guns. Uh, I'm gonna go with swords. I'm gonna go with swords. So it's like a cartoon, but with swords? Golly, that sounds neato. Where is this? Where can I see the anime? Uh, uh hold on. Uh, I, I think I have some on my phone. Here, look at this! Uh, uh, oh, uh, um, that's the, uh, uh, that's the wrong, uh, never mind. Golly, were those two robots? K kissing? <laughs> Boy, technology sure is something, isn't it? <laughs> Once again, Alphys would be best friends with Jess. Like, hands down. <laughs> sure is, yeah. Psst, F Frisk, um, y you've got to tell me. D do you think Asgore and Toriel are, uh, ever gonna get back together? Uh, I think they can work out their problems now that they're free. Y yeah, yeah, th that's what I hope too. J just think about how cute they must have been together. It's quickly becoming my number one ship of all time. Once again, best friends with Jess. Tori and Gory, <laughs> my, my old boss and his ex-wife. Uh, uh, that that sounds a lot less cool all of a sudden. <laughs> and last but not least, Asgore. Howdy, Frisk. Sorry about almost trying to take your soul. I feel very bad about it. I hope we can still be pals. Hey, don't worry about it, Asgore. I think everybody's tried to kill Frisk at least once. Yeah, I, I can see that. Oh, I see. Uh, in that case, I'm not sorry, Frisk. <laughs> Asgore! That's not what I meant! So, before we leave the underground, there's one more person that I want to talk to. Let's go talk to him.
Don't worry about me. Someone has to take care of these flowers. Frisk, please leave me alone. I can't come back. I just can't, okay? I don't want to break their hearts all over again. It's better if they never see me. Why are you still here? Are you trying to keep me company? Frisk. Hey. Let me ask you a question. Frisk. Why did you come here? Everyone knows the legend, right? Travelers who climb Mount Ebot are said to disappear. <laughs> Frisk. Why would you ever climb a mountain like that? Was it foolishness? Was it fate? Or was it because you... Well... Only you know the answer, don't you? I know why Max climbed the mountain. It wasn't for a very happy reason. Frisk, I'll be honest with you. Max hated humanity. Why they did, they never talked about it. But they felt very strongly about that. Frisk, you really are different from Max. In fact, though you have similar, uh, fashion choices, I don't know why I ever acted like you were the same person. Maybe, maybe the truth is, Max wasn't really the greatest person. Well, Frisk, you're the type of friend I wish I always had, so maybe I was kind of projecting a little. Let's be honest, I did some weird stuff as a flower. There's one last thing I feel like I should tell you. Frisk, when Max and I combined our souls together, the control over our body was actually split between us. They were the one that picked up their own empty body. And then, when we got to the village, they were the one that wanted to, to use our full power. I was the one that resisted. And then, because of me, we, well, that's why I ended up as a flower. Frisk, this whole time I've blamed myself for that decision. That's why I adopted a horrible view of the world, kill or be killed. But now, after meeting you, Frisk, I don't regret that decision anymore. I did the right thing. If I killed those humans, we would have had to wage war against all humanity. And in the end, everyone went free, right? I still feel kind of sad knowing how long it took. So maybe it wasn't the perfect decision, but you can't regret your hard choices your whole life, right? Well, not that I have much of a life left, but that's besides the point. Frisk, thank you for listening to me. You should really go be with your friends now, okay? Oh, and please, in the future, if you, uh, see me, don't think of it as me, okay? I just want you to remember me like this. Someone that was your friend for a little while. Oh, and Frisk, be careful in the outside world, okay? Despite what everyone thinks, it's not as nice as it is here. There were a lot of flowers out there. And not everything can be resolved by just being nice. Frisk. Don't kill. And don't be killed. Alright? That's the best you can strive for. Well, see you. Frisk. Don't you have anything better to do? That's a little easter egg going back and talking to Azrael. I thought you guys would like that. I guess there's only one thing left to do. Let's go. All right, it's time to finally leave the underground. With all of the friends we've made, with all of the memories. I really, really enjoyed the ride, and I hope you guys did too. If you leave here, your adventure will really be over. Your friends will follow you out of the underground. It's time to leave. Say goodbye. Isn't it beautiful, everyone? Wow, it's it's even better than on TV. Way better, better than I ever imagined. Frisk, you live with this? The sunlight is so nice, and the air is so fresh. I really feel alive. Hey, Sans, what's that giant ball? 
Uh, we call that the sun, my friend. That's the sun? Wowee! I can't believe I'm finally meeting the sun! I could stand here and watch this for hours. Yes, it is beautiful, is it not? But we should really think about what comes next. Oh, right. Everyone. This is the beginning of a bright new future. An era of peace between humans and monsters. Frisk, I have something to ask of you. Will you act as our ambassador to the humans? Will you be the ambassador? Oh, yeah, of course I'll be the ambassador. Come on, man, we've made it this far. Yeah! Frisk will be the best ambassador! And I, the right Papyrus, will be the best mascot! I'll go make a good first impression! <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> well, someone's gotta keep him from getting into trouble. See you guys. <laughs> Just go the opposite way. <laughs> Man, do I have to do everything? Papyrus, wait! Uh, hey, Adai, wait up! Whoops. <laughs> Asgore just being awkward. <laughs> uh, should I do something? <laughs> well, gotta go. <laughs> it seems that everyone is quite eager to set off. Frisk, you came from this world, right? So you must have a place to return to, do you not? What will you do now? I want to stay with you. What? Frisk? You really are a funny child. If you had just said that earlier, none of this would have ever happened. It's a good thing you took so long to change your mind. <laughs> well, I suppose, if you really do not have any other place to go, I will do my best to take care of you for as long as you need. Alright? Now, come along. Everyone is waiting for us. Yay. Well, everyone, that was the Undertale True Pacifist ending. I can't thank you guys enough for allowing me to do this, and especially going on this journey with me. Again, Undertale is one of my all-time favorite games, and... I I'm just so happy I was able to play it with you guys, and again, from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. So let's, let's watch the credits together. That'll be fun. Uh, ooh, there's a uh, reformed bully. Nice. Uh, to my knowledge, I think that the the uh, yellow means you did something in the game. Uh, I probably should have did a lot better, but oh, and that's the bloop. Still one of my favorites. Hey, he's a spooky DJ now. That's pretty cool. <laughs> hey, Papyrus got his car. Woo! Go Papyrus. Hey, there's Sands. I'm so happy. Such a good game. I'm so happy I got to play it again. <laughs> I love the songs too. <laughs> Snow Drake, Ice Cap. Oh, hey, he's a semi successful comedian now. He just keeps making puns, but I mean, Wonder Folks is boat. Ah, there's Griff Trot. It's a Christmas. He's a Christmas display. Doggo has his own seeing eye dog. That's. Does that work? Finally, number one nuz nose nuzzling champions. Ah, oh, they took it from Asgore and Toriel. <laughs> Lesser dog and greater dog. Found the loving owner. Oh, and there goes his neck. <laughs> Ooh, I'm dying. I'm dying in Alphys. <laughs> making stuff in the sand. God, this onion sand. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Ah, oh, there's the romantic action. <laughs> ah, so cute. There's Aaron, the, uh, made reluctantly by Temi. <laughs> he's still flexing. Ah, uh, he's living his life on the beach. Ah! Why? There's Temi! <laughs> the, oh, I, I still don't know how to pronounce that guy, so I'm not going to try. He, at least he's a legendary janitor now. Cyrene! At least her first hit single. Oh, okay. That's going pretty fast. Ah, uh, Metaton! Da, da, da. Metaton was made by Toby. That's pretty neat. 
such a great soundtrack. I definitely recommend buying it if you haven't already. Like, it's it's really, I think it's like 10 bucks, 10 to 15 maybe. I don't know, but it's so good. The link is in the description if you want to buy it. Highly, highly, highly recommend. <laughs> Ooh, Vulcan and Sundale playing. He's an encouraging space heater and <laughs> finally confesses, what? I don't. <laughs> Pyrope and Muffet is the world's largest uh, candle on the world's largest birthday cake. Uh, it has Muffet had a very successful spider uh, bakery. In the world, <laughs> use your imaginations. Final frog. We actually didn't run into them in the uh, pacifist run. I might have skipped them. That's my apologies if I actually did skip them. I apologize. I love the remixes. Magic and Night Knight. He's a street magician, and he's good. He's taking a well-deserved nap. He's really tired. Ooh, these creatures are living with their families. I'm happy. <laughs> hey, it's the dork! <laughs> and there's Monster Kid. <laughs> oh, Toriel's finally a teacher! She always wanted to be one. I'm so happy. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Okay. Dodging, 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 dodging. I love this song. It's such a good song. Let's dodge all the credits, because I heard if you dodge all the credits, you get a special secret. Oh, holy crap. Okay. 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 Woo! A lot more difficult than I thought it was going to be. Woo! There we go. Ooh, man, we're doing really good. I'm going to actually get this. Oh wow, wow, we are killing it! Okay, come on, we can do this, 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 we can do this. Okay, okay. Dodging. Okay. Ooh! Woo! Okay, 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 got it, got it. Oh, okay. Almost there, almost there, almost there. We're doing really well. Okay. Ooh, spinning. Great, spinning. That's that's the last thing I want. <laughs> Woo! Okay, okay, dodging, 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 dodging. Oh, we're doing good. Oh, we're doing good. Okay. Okay, okay, here we go, here we go. Ah, okay. It's a good song. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Woo! Holy crap! Okay, okay, we almost got this. We almost got this. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! So close! So close! Incredible work somewhere. Incredible work somewhere felt like a door was open. Thanks to friends and family for supporting us. And, un and the Undertale team thanks you, the player, from the bottom of our hearts. Without you, all this would be impossible. Good night. Well, guys, that was the Undertale Passives run. I can't thank you enough from the bottom of my heart 
for just sticking with me through this entire series and allowing me to play it. It really, really means a lot, and again, this is one of my all-time favorite games, and it means a lot that you enjoyed it, or hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, keep on the lookout for next Friday, because that's when the Genocide Route comes out. Again, I want to thank you all from the bottom of my heart, and until the next video, I appreciate your existence.